Hello everyone and welcome to the 8th electronics tutorial. In this tutorial we will look at the waveform viewer. The waveform viewer gives us a graphical representation of voltage or current over time. When working on real world electronic circuits, an oscilloscope would be used to measure the outputs. With every circuit, we can use the waveform viewer to see visually how the electrical signal is behaving. In the workspace, I have placed a single power supply and we will turn on the waveform viewer to look at the signal it produces. We will then change this to an AC and then a square wave input so we can examine the different output signals. Let's start by looking at the DC power supply's output waveform. To view the signal in the waveform viewer, we start the simulation. Then we select the positive end of the power supply. And we click on the show waveform icon. Notice the waveform is a steady blue line at the 1 volt level. If we increase the voltage, the waveform viewer responds and shows the updated signal level. The waveform viewer will also give a readout of the minimum and maximum level of the signal. Let's now change this to an AC power supply. We can see the AC power supply outputs a sine wave signal. The readout shows the signal constantly changing between 1 volt and minus 1 volt and the frequency of the signal is 1 kHz. We can adjust the frequency and the amplitude of the signal and the waveform viewer will adjust accordingly. If we adjust the amplitude to 5 volts and the frequency to 10 kHz, the waveform viewer responds and shows the new values. Let's now switch to the square wave output. We can now see the signal rising and falling between 1 volt and 0 volts. If we adjust the signal's output to low voltage minus 2 volts, high voltage 2 volts, period to 1 second, width 20%, rise 50%, fall 0, and delay 0. We can see the waveform viewer responding and adjusting to the changes. See how the waveform has changed from the adjustments we made and the waveform viewer displays the minimum, maximum and frequency of the signal. This has showed us a very basic usage for the waveform viewer. Let's do some tests on a flip-flop circuit and see how useful this feature is and how it will help us to understand what is going on. Here we have a transistor flip-flop circuit. It switches between two different states. It has two transistors, two capacitors, four resistors and two LEDs. 
It also has a DC power supply and two square wave form generators. Let's start the simulation and wait for the circuit to start working. I will select different points on the circuit and examine them in the waveform viewer. Let's start with the power supply. We highlight the connection directly out of the power supply and click the view waveform icon. We can see the steady 6 volt signal as expected. Let's now deselect this area and look at the output from the square wave generator. We can see the signal changing between 0 and 1 volt. As well as the connection on the circuit, we can highlight and view any component and examine its behaviour. Let's look at one of the capacitors. We can see the signal of the capacitor as it charges and discharges. Notice that when a component is selected, the waveform viewer will read out the current over the component. Let's deselect and highlight a resistor and we'll see how much current is passing over it as the circuit changes state. There is a maximum current of 1.86 milliamps and a minimum of 105 microamps. This is a very useful tool for diagnostics on a circuit, but we are not restricted to viewing one component or connection. The waveform viewer will allow us up to four areas to be viewed at once. Let's look at all the resistors at the same time. To do this, we highlight the component one at a time, then select View Waveform. Each waveform is colour coded, and clicking on any of the components again will show the output value for that particular component. Let's look now at both square wave generators. While one is in the on state, the other is in the off state. The waveform viewer lets us see this visually. If we want to keep the waveform viewer running but examine the circuit, we simply click on it and it will minimise. To restore, we click on it once more. I will show a copy of this circuit at the end of the video so you can create an experiment with it yourself. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. In the next video, we will look at how to calculate power on a circuit and use the volts, amps and ohm meters to help us with this. Please feel free to leave comments and ask questions. Thank you for watching.